They're the newest threat on the battlefield. Small drones, often armed, capable of evading air defense systems, at times with deadly consequences. Small drones like these have become one of the U.S. military's biggest threats. The reason? They're really hard to stop. Good hit. NBC News got an exclusive look at one system the U.S. military is already using to protect troops in war zones, and it can operate with very little human involvement. This is Lattice. Powered by artificial intelligence, it detects possible incoming threats from miles away, immediately gathering and processing information from a network of radars, cameras, and radio frequency. And, unlike older systems, identifying exactly what the threat is in real time. This might be hard for the human eye to distinguish that this is a drone. It's actually relatively straightforward to a computer. Lattice can determine whether something is a possible threat and launch a modified racing drone to get a closer look all on its own. In this demonstration, the white drone is the enemy and the black drone is the interceptor. The interceptor drone it's launched, it's locked onto this suspicious vehicle, and now it's saying to the user, this is suspicious, do you want me to take out this incoming threat? That's right. And with just one button, the user can now give the uh, interceptor the command clear to attack. Now the interceptor is going to accelerate into the target from beneath uh, and destroy it. The incoming threat is down. That's right. The system can actually attack an incoming drone on its own without a human being giving the command. 99% of what it's doing is done in Lattice, which is our AI-driven operating system. Let's the robots do what robots are good at, let's the people do what people are good at. And unlike other counter drone systems, Lattice doesn't need power or Wi-Fi. It's all powered by solar energy. But there are concerns about the growth of artificial intelligence and computers making critical decisions in a conflict. But it does raise important questions about where is this going, but ultimately keep humans still in charge of the use of force. The future of warfighting with fewer warfighters involved. Courtney QB, NBC News, Apple Valley, California. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.